Ok, pas de problème. Envoie-moi ton rapport à Zaps et après, on fera un brainstorming avec le management. Je le mets sur ma to-do list, ok Have you ever heard one of your French colleagues say something similar For better or for worse, the French business world has adopted lots of English words and even Frenchified some of them. You know, un reporting, checker tes mails, du feedback. But in English, does it all mean the same thing? I'm Christina and you're watching Speak Better Feel Great TV. The place to boost your English and boost your career. Today, I've partnered up with blog-emploi.com where their blogger Guirec has created a list of English vocabulary used in French. After this video and his list, you'll always understand your colleagues when they want to show off in franglais. You ready? Roman's gonna inject a few business franglais words into his French sentences. Let's see if you can understand and then we'll look at what it all means. Ce serait bien de me donner les charts une semaine avant le deadline. Comme ça, je te donne mon feedback et on les prépare bien avant les annual review, ok? Did you catch the English words? Charts indicates any type of diagram, a pie chart, a bar chart or a line graph. Charts are very practical for presenting data and figures. A deadline is simply the last day to finish a project. That one's easy, even if deadlines are not always easy to respect. Don't forget your deadlines tomorrow. Feedback. We often use the verbs get and give with feedback. Feedback basically means your opinion or your observations on a project. You can give feedback to your colleague on their project or you can get feedback from your manager on your project. An annual review generally happens once a year and it's the moment when you meet with human resources to negotiate a pay raise, to talk about your performance over the past year, and to discuss future projects. Here, Roman used all the words just like we use them in English, but sometimes French people use English words just not exactly the way that we use them in English the pronunciation is wrong, or the English word has been Frenchified. Check this out. Tu as checké tes emails? Je t'ai forwardé la demande du client et il a besoin d'une solution ASAP. Après, n'oublie pas de updater la base de données. Oh boy! This is business franglais at its best. Or worst. Here are the Frenchified expressions and their English corrections. Uh, I mean, English equivalents. Check it email. In English, check your email. Notice that we don't say a mail or my mails to talk about email. It's always check my email, never check my mails. Forwardé, from the English word to forward, Basically, that's a direct franglais mutation of the French word faire suivre, as in please forward your Speak Better Feel Great newsletter to your colleagues. Update, another franglais mutation. In English, it's simply to update. In French, mettre à jour. In English, you can update a database, you can update a software program, and you can update your English skills. ASAP. Careful about the pronunciation of this one. In French, a lot of people say ASAP with a Z sound, but in English we say 
ASAP with a s sound. ASAP. Hey, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I need your report ASAP. No, my name's Christina, not ASAP. Uh, ASAP. As soon as possible. Oh, right, ASAP. Okay, uh, so next month? Okay, perfect, thank you. That's it for today, but before we go, here's the recap of the vocabulary you learned today. Charts, deadline, feedback, annual review, to check your email, to forward, ASAP, and to update. Now, what about you? Do you hear other business franglais expressions in your office? Or do you use any? Tell us which ones in the comments below and we'll create our own Speak Better Feel Great franglais vocabulary list. And if you're not a member of the Speak Better Feel Great community, go to christinarubafe.com and sign up to receive the weekly newsletter because together we can fight bad franglais. Sign up at christinarubafe.com. I'm Christina from Speak Better Feel Great TV. See you next time. Business Écoute, English. Maman est près de toi. Il faut lui dire maman. C'est quelqu'un pour toi. No. <laughs> Le téléphone pleure quand elle ne vient pas. Oh oui, oh oui. Arrête. Ça suffit. Non. On peut arrêter. Oui. Couper. Couper. Non. non. Ok. Moi, je raccroche. Voilà. Ok. Euh... Vous avez demandé non. la police, ne quittez pas. Ça va. C'est bon, c'est bon. Ok. Ok. Uh, take two. Scene one, take two. Yeah. Scene one, take three. Take four. Four. Ciao, ciao, bello. Ciao.